No, oh, I'm so frustrated. Listen here, I actually had really nice winter holidays and I had a lot of free time and I was so happy to finally be able to draw anything that I want or not. Because guess what? As soon as I sat down, all motivation was just gone. <sighs> and I realized that I have massive art block and luckily it only applies to painting. Not crafting, but I don't have the time to start a big project at the moment. And that's why I wanted to paint and failed. So what do I do in this kind of situation? Right, I go to the internet and there I found many articles with tips like paint only for yourself, uh, go outside, take breaks. I took two weeks off and I want to start painting again. So before looking for solutions, I started looking for reasons. And in the brainstorming process, I decided to start a challenge to fight off art block within one week. And I'm taking you with me. So let's get this going. I have a prompt for each day. And today's prompt is clear mindset, which means taking care of my mind and body. Well, I kind of already did that in the past two weeks. But today I'm going to give it a different approach. Because I'm eliminating the main problem, which is, you probably guessed it, this app right here. I'm not gonna touch it anymore for the entire week, as well as YouTube Shorts, Pinterest, and also the majority of Instagram. Because all of these platforms lead me to do doom scrolling. Doom scrolling basically means that you start scrolling, expecting an end without there ever being an end, which leads to an eternity of scrolling to the next video until it's late in the night and you just feel horrible. Yeah, you just get addicted. I could talk hours about how fast paced content messes with your brain and your motivation, but that's not the topic of today's video. And now that I took care of the digital world, I have to take care of the physical world, which is my room. A lot of articles tell you to clean up your workspace because there's too many distractions. And I think that's definitely true. I just don't want to clean my desk. But well, can't help it. Let's go. I have lights now. My workspace is now clean. Now, what next? Apparently, a lot of motivation also comes from physical activity. That is why once a day I want to take at least a walk or do a little workout because moving your body is healthy. I mean, that's just common knowledge. And my back hurts. I want to do some physical activity every day and after that I want to do a 10 minute sketch. And also, I'm not gonna show you the sketch, but I'm gonna tell you how I feel once I'm finished. And I'm doing that because I want to avoid any perfectionism. That's my plan. Okay, let's do a little workout. I feel a little bit destroyed, but also good. And now let's start sketching. The timer was a jump scare. I thought I would be more unhappy with the results, but honestly, it's kind of cute. And that was day one. Good night. Good morning. Today's topic is lose control. Because letting go of control also means letting go of perfectionism. So what's the first thing on my list? Physical activity. And right after that, a 10 minute sketch. Let's take a walk. Oh, it has like minus five degrees, but <laughs> let's go. This is really refreshing. I'm just glad that there's a bit of sun. This entire thing here is frozen. <laughs> that looks delicious. I don't know why, but there's something that I really love about ice. Oh god, oh god me. No. Um, I'm a bit scared of dogs. Look, I'm almost as red as you. How do I feel about this? 
Horrible. I think I kind of had something in mind. The only thing nice about this is the combination of blue and pink. <laughs> the rest just looks horrible. So let's move on to the next motivation killer, which is AI art. <laughs> Again, a topic that I could rant about for hours. Sometimes I start asking myself, what do I even create art for? The AI can do it in seconds. So no, there's really no use in doing art that's just pretty to look at. So I had to think to myself, why do I even do art? One of the reasons actually is that I want people to look at it, but also it's fun, or at least it was fun. When you look in an artwork, you can probably remember when you did it or how you felt while doing it. And I noticed that I'm slowly losing that sense of happiness and satisfaction while I'm creating art. I'm just seeing it as something that I need to get done. So now let's not focus on the result at all and let's loosen up Completely. I'm not even gonna need a pencil. The only thing I need is Lumos. my flashlight and this camera. So now I'm gonna darken my room. Here we can see the time the camera takes to take a picture. And it's 1 30th of a second right now. So if I tap on it, we get this menu and I'm gonna choose 50. 15 seconds. So it's gonna take 15 seconds to take the picture. The first thing I want to draw is just a butterfly. Let's go. It's done. Ooh. It's not perfect, but this is my butterfly. What should I draw next? A tree and some grass and I'm sitting in it. <laughs> Let's go. First a tree and then some grass and then I'm sitting in it. Oh god. Well, I'm gonna take a few more and I'm gonna show you all of them when I'm done. Okay, my first try, the butterfly wings. It's good for a first try. My grass with a tree and the second grass with a tree. I look concentrated on something. Um, this was supposed to be a swarm of fish. And I did a second try and it worked better. You can actually recognize the fish. Some butterflies flying around in the air. <laughs> then I tried to create magic that's emerging from my hands. It just looks like a lot of scribbles, but it's fine. I like it more than the second try. I tried to make a patchwork pattern. And the red light that you can see is actually my fingers covering the flash. And then I used the same technique to make a firework, which actually doesn't look too bad. It's just kind of displaced. That is a character from Genshin Impact. <laughs> Maybe he's recognizable. I don't know. These were my attempts to draw Among Us, but yeah, I kind of failed. I also tried to give myself a dress, which ended up looking creepy. I mean, look at my face. Here I just spun around in circles over and over again. And I got really nauseous after that. Then I spun only the phone around my body. That was my attempt to draw a mushroom, but it looks more like a leaf. And last but not least, we have a bunny. And the red eye was not planned. It's the light from my cable back there. So how was this challenge beneficial? Did it help me to loosen up my technique a bit? I don't know yet. Was it fun? Yeah. Yes. This did put me in a good mood. I recently found this fabric in my closet and it's gonna be my blindfold. Nope. I need a material that stretches. Wait a minute. I'm lucky my aunt gifted me this blackout mask on Christmas. Since I don't really use sleep masks for sleeping, I can use it now. Okay. How do I look? Now, what shall we draw? Let's go for Link. I recently started playing Skyward Sword, but let's draw Breath of the Wild first. This is hair that is flying and here we have the other side of his hair, his face, his Hylian ear. Yes, that is Link. I think I'm gonna continue with another Link. Skyward Sword. This is the Master Sword. The hand of Link. The arm of Link. Here's his head and his hair. His hat. And then down the tunic, there's his legs. Link from Skyward Sword. This is probably blue. Uh, let's say this is red. Another one. Maybe this is red. Then we have... Oh, I don't know which one is blue and which one is red. I have a feeling that this is the blue one and this is the red one. <gasps> Let's draw Ariel! Ariel has red hair and a blue tail. Let's just hope this color makes sense. We have her head here. I'm gonna give her red e e hair. And I'm gonna give her a blue tail. Dude, this is making me crazy. Oh, this is yellow. This is dark blue. I'm gonna put a fish up here. Yellow fish with blue stripes. This is bright green and red. Oh, let's do a rose. 
This is my pretty rose. I'm kind of scared of the chaos that's going to unfold. Well, the hair is red and <laughs> the tail is blue. Oh my god. I'm kind of impressed by myself, even though the rest of the colors are not accurate at all. Let me make this page even worse. So let me just start scribbling, because apparently that loosens your technique. Let's go. The scribbles I'm doing now are straight scribbles. Round scribbles are coming after that. In the beginning, this just feels pretty stupid. I did not record. This is what I have so far. <laughs> Let me add pink. <coughs> and then let me add red. The important thing to do here is to draw without having anything in mind. It's about loosening and not about bringing an image from your mind. To the paper and hey if you're into abstract art there's nothing wrong with it it's just not what i'm trying to achieve there we have it and now i'm gonna do one more with round shapes only just like this i'm gonna go up here and down again just like this if you actually see a motif or a shape forming of course you can embrace it and transform it into something you like and go big, go really big, and tiny again. I'm definitely not finished yet, so I'm gonna draw as long as I want to. This is definitely something. <laughs> you know what the most important thing about this is? You have to realize that you don't have to make it look good. We're gonna see if it loosened my technique a bit. I'm gonna film the reaction of my sister now and... I'm scared. <laughs> you should be. Did you age backwards? And what is it supposed to be? Nothing. Oh. And that's Ariel. Dude, that's <laughs> I'm confused. It's pretty, right? For a child, yes. Ah. She's concerned for me. It's kind of hard to get a satisfying result with just pencils. And the reason for that is that they don't cover a big area. And you have a lot of white gaps, which do not necessarily look appealing. But I'm talking too much. What's more fun for me is watercolors. So I'm going to do the same thing, just with watercolors. I already did it twice. And today I'm going to do a third one. I do like it more than the previous ones. I just enjoy painting with watercolors. And I think that's a great way to end the day. Because tomorrow is going to be way different. Good morning. It's time to go on a walk. It somehow feels way colder today. Even though it's not. I answered some emails just now. Everything is done. And after the walk, I can just sit down and do art. I'm still scared of dogs. I'm at the puddle again. It's kind of even more slippery than yesterday. Now, let me go back. I look like a mad scientist. Hello, mister. I think I can't be in his presence right now. Excuse me, sir. How do I feel about this? Mm, it's better than yesterday. Today's topic is get out of comfort zone. My comfort zone is drawing humans. So today I'm gonna draw everything but humans. I really wanna design some monsters. So to start off, the most basic monsters that you meet in basically any video game are slimes. Let's give this one special eyes. Oh my god, I have an idea. I want the slimes to have elements. This one has sparkling eyes, so I don't know, it's sparkling. It's basically sparkling a lot. Then we have the confusion slime. Its eyes are spirals. This slime causes confusion. And I need a third one. A sleepy one. It's more flat and it has sleepy eyes. Let me add some color. I kind of feel the fun coming back. It's approaching. I like the concept that I have here. I'm just gonna continue. Um, so I actually do have a hard time 
getting out of my comfort zone but i managed to do it in the end first we have the slimes then i went on to draw floating hands that would attack you then i did floating or more like hovering eyes this is the side view and then of course i had to draw bunnies this one looks kind of crazy then we have this one it's just cute now buckle up for whatever this is i don't know but all of that is still kind of in my comfort zone yes even hands and then my plan was to just draw something that looked creepy i guess um and then i did this i like the palette because from all of these this stands out most. This may not be the best design, but it's out of my comfort zone. So today's challenge was another success. I have to admit, I expected myself to make more progress today, but it's okay that I didn't. Day three, for me personally, is always the hardest. And I guess tomorrow or at least Friday, some of the motivation will come back. Good morning. Today's kind of rough. Not mindset wise. My mindset is great, but <laughs> the weather, I have the feeling that it's way colder than the days before. It's all frozen to the bottom. I was trying to break it, but no chance. Let's take this triangle with me today. <laughs> I'm taking a piece every day for no reason at all. Feels like it. <laughs> My hair looks destroyed. <laughs> he kind of likes my glasses. Or not. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. <laughs> Boy. He likes sitting in sunlight. He doesn't. He's a bit shy. I'm gonna make some tea now to warm up a bit. have a bad hair day today. Sorry. First of all, 10 minute sketch. Okay, this might be the least impressive one, but it felt like doing art more than any of the previous ones. I think I kind of forgot how it felt to do art. I'm starting to remember. Today's topic is variation. Even though I do use a lot of materials, there are some that I barely or never use. So let me look into my treasure box. I have so much stuff, I almost feel guilty. This video is not sponsored by anyone, just to make that clear. And I'm also not trying to flex and make anyone feel bad for not owning as many materials. Because I'm aware that that's a lot. First we have water-based stuff. These are sparkling watercolors. Then we have watercolor pencils, watercolor ink pens. Then we have chalk colored pencils and colored charcoal pencils, soft pastels, oil pastels, my crayons from elementary school. Then we have a graphite set and then we got some wood that I found in the forest. <laughs> Let's start with something that I'm not used to, which is oil pastels. And I need a surface. I actually found something. Oh my goodness, my hair is annoying. <laughs> okay, I just cut it off. No, I'm joking. All right, let me show you what I got. Oil pastels. These are metallic oil pastels and I got them as a gift from my grandma. Now, I found this. It's colored paper that says watercolor here, but you can also use it for oil. I got it from a friend a while ago. I think it was for my birthday. Thank you again. And last but not least, this is for oil and acrylic painting. And I'm pretty sure that it was my mom's. 21 D mark. Yep, that's the currency we had 24 years ago in Germany. And I used it for watercolor painting, which it is not made for. I think back then I didn't have any watercolor paper. I think I'm going to start on the tiny one. The first page is attached to the top, so I'm gonna use it for testing. I do like how glossy it feels to put them on the paper. It kind of feels like painting with crayons, but way softer. Mm. Whew, I hope smudging is not gonna be a problem. Okay, now the metallic ones. They're way more glossy. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, that was not good. I need to know how to blend. 
kind of like this, I guess. First, something simple. I'm just gonna draw an apple. The orange and red is blending in very well together. I'm painting and I'm having fun. This whole video is like therapy. Ta-da! Not a perfect apple, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. I actually wanna go bigger. Let's start! Okay, here we have this. It looks unfinished because it is. Looks like a concept sketch, but after a while it just felt too basic. So I went on to draw something less basic, something basic again. But I wanted to draw something where I could use a lot of colors as well as the metallic ones. And I did that here. I just have no idea how to get these little sprinkles off. <laughs> My dad just gave me this. A really tiny ocarina. It goes up to... It's crazy loud. I also have a big one. I can play high notes now. <laughs> I just wanted to show you because I think it's so important to enjoy stuff that you love to do in life. There's so much in life that makes it worth living and this is a part of it. <laughs> These are from first grade, probably. Wait. The coverage is actually better. Look at the difference. I have to admit though, the professional ones are more glossy and you can probably blend them better. And now it is time for soft pastels. It's probably gonna be the hardest for me. Watch. This is gonna be so messy. So I also got these. It's just some colored pencils, but they're made for painting on blackboards. And I think texture wise, they're closest to those. And you can mix both of these with water. I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna use some watercolor paper. The paper I usually paint on is 250 grams cold press. And this is probably hot press and 150 grams, which means it's not as rough, but it will definitely wrinkle more. Okay, I'm gonna start sketching some fine lines. The question is, what do I want to sketch? And who's vacuuming in front of my door? You know what, I'm just gonna stick to my habits and draw a simple human. Let me try to add color. Am I supposed to smudge it? Trust the process. Let me actually try to add water. Ooh, this is intense. I have a feeling that this is kind of escalating. Even though you can mix it with water, it feels pretty different to watercolors. It has more grip on the paper and it doesn't blend as good as watercolors do. But if they're still dry, they blend really well together. Whenever I'm really concentrated, I forget to blink. This turned out kind of okay. At least better than this one. I actually did not use water at all. This was all smudging. Okay, I'm not gonna draw anything with the watercolor-based pencils because it's just too close to my comfort zone, actually. The wood is gonna be used tomorrow. There's another category left, which is graphite pencils. If you've noticed, I have quite a lot of art supplies from Faber Castell. Again, this is not sponsored, but their stuff has a really great quality. And I think it's one of the best brands that you can buy from in Germany. Okay. It smells good. It smells like wood. I'm confused by some of these. And today's the day that I get to know what all of this is. Because to me it looks like graphite, graphite, something to smudge, no idea. And flexible... Pencil. Let's see. Castel 9000 and 9000 Jumbo. Ah, all of them. Der Castel 9000 eignet sich zum Sch Scribbeln. Die 16 Härtegrade. I'm glad that it's not only in German. I'm too tired to translate all of this. <coughs> the Castel 9000 is ideal for scribbling, drawing. It's basically for drawing, sketching, comes in two sizes and many different hardnesses. <laughs> then we have pit graphite. That's these three and these three. They're perfect for creating contrast and they can also be blended and mixed with water. And you can even like scratch some off and then smudge it, I guess. Then graphite, graphite aquarelle 
aquarelle. It's this one here. You can mix it with water. I'm gonna try that. And of course we have a little brush. Pit Artist's Pencils. No, that's water-based varnish. So the only thing that I haven't figured out is what this is supposed to be. This is an eraser. This is for smudging. Spitze. Uh, sharpener. Eraser. So this has multiple layers. Ah! There. Then I'm just gonna rip off the blue stuff and hope for the best. I think it's supposed to be ripped off. Another netable eraser. Woo! Whoa! This is a really soft eraser. Okay, let's just start with the basic pencils. The quality here is better than what I'm used to. I don't have anything to scratch. I'm just gonna use my nail. Because <laughs> of course, I wanna mix it with water. Interesting. Let's not forget this. Ah. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's used for sharpening. And then here you can probably dust it off. Here we have the smudge tool. Ooh. I thought I would hate it, but it does a better job than I expected. I haven't tried the eraser. That's a good one. Oh. And with that, I guess it's time to sketch something. But what? I want to draw a human. In school, our teachers always tell you to not smudge. And look where I am now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know it looks bad if you smudge it with your fingers. But still, I was surprised that smudging is something you actually do. <laughs> Let me sprinkle some on. Oh my god. Ooh -hoo -hoo. This makes sketching so much more fun. These apparently work on wet paper. Let me try. Can I smudge them too? This is sketching and watercolor combined. This is a game changer. I want more. More, more. <sighs> I can feel the inspiration coming back. Good morning. I'm not going on a walk today because it's cloudy and the air quality is really bad. But I just used the stairs. That counts, right? <laughs> For the final 10 minute sketch, I'm gonna use these. It's like a playground of different graphite pencils. But seriously, I didn't think sketching could get any better. I probably would have never tried these if it wasn't for this video. Let me start sketching. I did not finish the sketch, but I still like it. Let me rewind the sketches that I did this week. Monday. I actually like it. Tuesday. I was trying too hard. Day three. It looks like I created this because I had to. Thursday. It looks pretty simple, but I had a lot of fun doing it. And now day five. Friday. It looks unfinished, but it also looks like a proper sketch. Not showing them on social media gave me a sense of security and a bit of comfort. Comfort in a way that I'm able to create whatever I want without being judged in any way. And with this, the final challenge will be have fun. I'm just gonna have fun today because that's the goal of overcoming art block. At least that's what I think personally. I think I'm gonna use the wood. Ta-da! I did not rip it from a living tree. Don't do that. I found some line drawing pens. I think I'm gonna do some line art on the wood. That's it. Well, it's been a while and honestly, I did not do as much as I expected, <laughs> but I don't mind. I made some drawings on wood, I made a graphite drawing, and lastly, this drawing right here. I used graphite, watercolor pencils, watercolor fine drawing pens, and soft pastels. I think the end result is okay. So here's the very short conclusion on how I beat art block. First, mindset. Take care of your mind and body and take one step at a time. Get rid of over-information from the internet and your 
perfectionism. Step two, lose control. Basically, create crazy stuff that looks like you've gone mad. Because some people really need to loosen up, including me. Step three, get out of your comfort zone. And that's a pretty obvious step that I think everyone knows. For example, if you only draw humans, maybe try to draw animals or in my case, monsters. And if you only draw animals, try to draw humans for once. Step four, variation. Start experimenting with different mediums, different techniques, everything that comes to mind and that you can find. And with that, I beat Art Block. I'm pretty happy right now. Before I end the video, I have one more thing to say. I'm very grateful for everyone who's subscribed and who's watching this video right now. You're actually people who listen to me and my voice and watch me create things for quite an amount of time and to all of the people writing comments and the people in my dms most of you are such nice people i can't even express how grateful i am that i get the chance to talk to you and to see that behind the number there's actually human beings because that's what's important for me um yeah that's why i decided that i want to keep this channel going which means i'm going to move to an actual studio now an actual art studio that is specifically for doing art and recording art that will take up some time so i will probably post my next video next month my plan is to post every two weeks because i'm all alone it's just me and maybe more people will find me in the future maybe and again to all of you being here already you're literally so precious to me every single one of you you right there Thank you for being here. I hope you have a really nice day, evening or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Bye. And I hope to see you again.